One of my latest pieces of wood that I've been working on is um, a piece of beech, from a, a crested beech tree, uh, which is quite an unusual one. And um, it's from Ray Castle, the Ray Estate, which is on the shore of Windermere. And it's a National Trust property. I met the gardener in my studio and we were chatting about the work I do and she told me about the tree and it had come down in Storm Arwen, another victim of the storm that brought thousands and thousands of trees down just in this area and then I've read that apparently they think it was millions altogether. Um, so I was really interested obviously in, in maybe having a piece to print. So um, I popped over to Ray in January on a beautiful cold day. Such a lovely place. The uh, tree was huge, lying down, and had a good look at it. And then about three, four weeks later, went back again when the guys came to cut it up and to take it away. So it was great because I got the chance to have a look at it and, and select two or three pieces that I really liked the look of. Um, one of which I printed. Not the biggest, but, but one that was interesting. Um, so I'll be able to share that. And apparently as well, this tree, the beach, Crested Beach, um, is known as a champion tree because it was apparently had the widest girth for Crested Beach in uh, the UK and Ireland. So it was, it was notable in that way as well. Uh, so I popped over to Ray um, a few days ago in the evening when it was quiet and had a wander around because they've got some really, really fantastic trees there. Um, so I'll be able to sh share that with you. And also, there's a new crested beech that's been planted to replace the one that came down. So, lovely. two giant redwoods here at Ray and that's super tall. I don't know if it will come across but the green, the pale green tree, that's that's a pretty normal height. <laughs> the redwood surpasses it completely. bark on the Douglas fir has been worn down, smoothed down, presumably by hands and feet, as it stops. There, look. Where people can't climb anymore. They can't scramble any higher. This is rather special. This is a black mulberry. And I've got a couple of pieces of black mulberry that I printed from the James I planting in 1620. But I've never seen the tree. Uh, I've just got the pieces. So this is this is fantastic to see see a black mulberry tree. And how interesting is this? And if we just look round this way, there's Windermere. And I can see the uh, jet ski, I think it is. Sounds like maybe We've got trouble with the engine. So, if we then continue to look around this way, this, where the ground there is just a bit discoloured, that's when the Ray Beach fell, and that bit there was where the top of it reached, I suppose, yeah, when it was when it fell down in Storm Arwen. So, if we stand here, which is bits of the tree really and then look back. In fact, if we look that way, just where the one-way sign is, there's a little, slightly lower bit in the grass and that's where the tree was.
So there's Ray Castle, and there's the Douglas Fir. And beyond the Douglas Fir is where the beech was, the beech tree. And then, going around here, and among all these other trees, I think is where the new one is planted. So there's a replacement crested beech planted by the National Trust. Yeah, let's go down there and have a look. Lots of things going on here today, isn't there, Moss? <laughs> anyway, here's, a, here's one of the rounds from the big beech tree at Ray Castle. Um, it's gorgeous. It's got a fantastic outline. Uh, areas where it's spaltered, so that'll give me lines and shapes from that. Um, and then obviously the, you know, the growth rings and the grain of the wood as well. And I haven't printed a, a large piece of beach before. I've done a, a few small pieces um, which looked brilliant. They had lots of spotting as well and they look like brain scans. Um, so I'm really looking forward to revealing this um, in all its glory. I look at all the leaves and I just spent time looking at them and they change all the time depending upon the light. The sun came out, changed colour really quickly and then of course there's different layers to them. Some of them are putting shadows on other ones and then you just watch one leaf and it just changes continually. It's a bit of a breeze today as well. And you start trying to figure out well what colour is it? And it's such a mix of colours. And if the colours change from moment to moment depending on where the light is and how much light there is and whether the wind's blowing in this direction or that direction or which other leaves around them are having an effect upon them. What colour is it? It's this one milk moment, this another. And then I suppose, you know, when you see a copper beach from a distance, you get an impression. You get an overall kind of impression. It might be a quick one if you're driving past in the car, or a longer one if you're spending a bit more time. Everything's so complex. But when we just, when I just settle down, oh, settle down and stay still, like the tree, just rest against the tree, and then you start to notice the individuals, and then you see all the layers, the layers of interaction and life. But everything connects with everything else and everything affects everything else. <laughs> I can hear my neighbour. And I'm surrounded by sycamore. <laughs> They're all over here. The sycamore trees over there. Um, 
There's an ash tree doing quite well. And I saw an oak. This little bit of woodland. It's got lots going on in it. Nobody did any of this. The trees did this. 